said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. Lucky, I know you're anxious to start high school, but you don't have to stay after school in advance. <laughs> well, I was hoping to see Miss Thomas. I think she's still in her lab. Hey, how's your brother doing in college? Oh, great. I just had a letter yesterday. Good. You're getting ready to take his place next year, huh? Oh, I want to warn you in advance. Dr. Barnes won't allow you to bring Lucky into class. He may get higher marks than the kids. Well, he's pretty smart. <laughs> you know, I had a dog once. I never taught him any tricks, though. Uh, never had the knack. You must be a good trainer. Mm, I don't know. I think it's just that Lucky's a smart dog. He jumps, rolls over, hurdles. But this is best trick. Want to see him do it again? Yeah, I'd like that. Here, you try it. Uh, no, I'd better stick to teaching humans. Uh, he may not do it for me. Yes, he will. Come on, try it. OK, <laughs> go on. Good boy. <laughs> I have to go now, Randy. Thank you. We'll see you at the game later. Right. Okay. Come on, Lucky. Come on. Come on. OK, you stay here, and I'll be right back. So Jeff likes college life. Yeah, all he's in chemistry so far. He told me it was because you helped him so much. Well, let's just say it was a joint effort. He thought, I mean, I was wondering, next year, Maybe I could use a little help. You see, I want to be a veterinarian. A veterinarian? Well, then, chemistry is important. Yeah, that's what Dr. Rogers says. He's Lucky's vet. He lets me help around the hospital now and then. That's good experience. How old is Lucky? Ten. Ten? No wonder you're such close friends. Yeah, he and I are all buddies. He's waiting out front for me. I'll walk you out. OK. Lucky, come on, boy. Come on. Come here, Lucky. Come on, let's race. Lucky, come on. Come on, Lucky. Come on, boy. Come on. He won't go. He always stays where I tell him to. Come on, Lucky. Cindy, come on. He's a one-man dog, Cindy. I'm glad he's a one-team dog. You know, since he's been our mascot, we've won every game. Well, you don't think we're winning because of the dog. Maybe not. But whatever it is, it's working. I just hope it holds out for the big game with Central. Yeah, they say they're going to beat us. <laughs> That's what they think. But they'll find out. Thanks, Miss Thomas. I'll see you at the beach party. Come on, Lucky. See you there. I'll be there. We'll both be there. Come on. Look at this one. It's a periwinkle. You shouldn't take it with you. Why not? Because the periwinkle's still using it. Oh! Let's get the rest of the things from the car. OK. Hey, it's the guys from Central. Why don't you go ahead and I'll get the rest of the stuff out of the car? Sure you don't need any help, Miss Thomas? No problem. You go ahead. And 
here, give Bob this wax for his board. Okay, come on. Hey, how's it feel to have the second best team in the league? You guys ought to know. Hey, we've won it every year. This year, we've got lucky. You ought to put him on your team. It's better catch than anybody else you've got. We've got a mascot, too. But it's going to take a lot more than that to win. Here you go. <laughs> Remember, numero uno. Come on. <laughs> By the ice, ice, ice. Go get him! No, wait, stop. I'll do it. But if anything happens to Lucky... Nothing's gonna happen to Lucky. Dr. Rogers will fix him up. I know he will. There you are, Bobby. You take good care of Stuart now. He's gonna be just fine. Bye-bye. Isis! Doctor, it's Randy's dog. He almost drowned. Well, he looks pretty bad. I'll do what I can. I wish I'd been at the beach. I, I might have been able to help. It's a good thing Isis was there. I called Dr. Rogers twice. He said he'd call if there's any change. What are Lucky's chances? Dr. Rogers couldn't promise anything. 
dog of his age has quite a strain on his heart. Any word? Not yet. Poor Randy. When we got to the hospital, Lucky was under sedation. So Randy couldn't see him. He's really worried. Did you take Randy home? He wanted to come back here. It's closer to the hospital. So he's out front. I'll get it. Kim Ladd, Miss Thomas. Yes, Dr. Rogers. I see. Yes, I'll tell him. Thank you for calling, Dr. Rogers. Lucky. I really wish I didn't have to do this. Andrea, do you want me to go with you? Uh, no. No, I'll tell him. I just don't know how he's going to take it. So why? I'm sorry. Very he got away, didn't he? He got away from the hospital. And Dr. Rogers is just saying he died. Randy, listen to me. Lucky didn't run away. He died. He did not. <laughs> he didn't. Randy, wait. your dog. That's a bummer. So? Well, I mean, I know how you feel. You don't know anything about it. Hey, you can't go up there. Yes, I can. I come here all the time. But they're testing water pressure or something, and it might be dangerous. I don't care. Well, we're going out to the ball game. Why don't you come with us? Why don't you mind your own business? Mother's worried. He hasn't been home and he's not at the ballpark. He was so upset. He and Lucky were very close. I wonder where he is. Where did he and Lucky go? He used to go running near the dam, but it's all closed off now. Thanks, Cindy. I'll see you later. Okay. Almighty oh, Isis. Isis. Isis.
Now hold fast. Hurry. You have a little explaining to do. Get it back. Lucky's leash? He's dead. And it's my fault. He was helping me. He wouldn't have died if I... You shouldn't blame yourself. Then why'd he have to die? It was time. Couldn't you save him? No. But you have all the powers. Not all. You saved him before. I pulled him from the ocean. No one has the power of life and death. You see, Randy, there's a cycle of life. For Lucky for all of us, for every living thing. There's a time to live and a time to die. Do you see that flower? No. I'll show it to you. Look at me, Randy. Lovely it is. We'd like it to last forever, but that can't be. That phase of its life is ending, an ending and a beginning. It's dead. But its life is not over. Seeds fall. Some provide food for birds and animals and become part of another life. Some bury themselves deep into the soil. Then wind comes carrying the petals, and they nourish the earth. Then rains, and snow. We can't see the life, but it's there, waiting for its time. Then sun, warming the earth. And now look, a new flower grows, and the cycle of life is complete. And death is part of it. Lucky's death is like that. He isn't coming back. No. But remember, life has passed on. I'm sure gonna miss him. I know. Everyone will. Especially the team. They don't need him. Mm, maybe not. They sure were counting on him. You know, I'll bet they're getting ready for that big game right now. Kind of nice if you went over. Nah, I'm not on the team, you know. I just went along to hold Lucky's leash. I couldn't go. It's your decision, but think it over. They sure could use your support. Randy, you want to watch the game? No. 
I don't much feel like it. Hey, Mid City! Hey, Randy. Hey, we brought you something. It's for you, Randy. Cindy and I thought you might like them. Hey, we're still gonna cream you. We'll see about that. Looks a little bit like Lucky. It does, kind of. I never thought I wanted another dog. Well, you're entitled to change your mind. How would it look if a veterinarian didn't have his own dog? I wonder if he'll be as smart as Lucky. Now he has a little bit of growing to do. You'll have to give him some time. Maybe I can teach him to do everything Lucky did. Surprised.